I want to talk about um, performance testing. We have a second talk about performance testing later. This is the big picture, and later there will be a detailed uh, talk about performance testing. So, to clean this up. Um, what, what I want to uh, um, talk about here is about what we plan to bring uh, to our testing systems in the, in the really near future. Uh, we already started to implement this, to set it up. We need to now polish it and uh, properly in, uh, include this into our, all of our processes. And what we will want to do here uh, with this kind of performance test is to create an actual instance and run it on, on as best a, a good defined hardware set and not change the hardware below it to be able to compare results between different runs of the performance test and simulate a given workload to say, okay, we have uh, a server with that amount of RAM, that amount of CPUs, and there are thousands of clients connected to it, and then want to execute a given task, maybe upload a file and um, measure how long it takes. And this allows us then in the future to, uh, to compare a future version or a pull request to a previous version or the current master and to, to being able how different um, code changes uh, involve uh, into the performance metrics of our system. And to being able to say, okay, this change looks good and it's really awesome, but yeah, we maybe need to rethink it because it has a, a huge impact on, on performance. So it's, it's really about allowing us to have a, a big picture view on how our system is behaving and not only testing it on a development system with one user or 20 users, but having actually a system with thousands of files, 100 clients connected, and then measuring how, how, to, how the system behaves and different, and different workloads. Um, there, are, there are some, some challenges. We are currently experimenting with uh, different kinds of solving them. Um, one, the, the very first one is, what is a typical workload on a real instance? We have some statistics from bigger customers, from smaller customers, how, how requests are distributed, how many uploads usually um, are there, and how many reads are there, how often the client is connected. We have some rough stats, and we try to yeah, look into, uh, mimic those, those uh, stats we have as best as possible, but we also plan to get feedback from users, from customers, from bigger installations, um, how, how usual setups look like and compare them to, to our future performance test setup. <coughs> then the next big thing is how can we simulate this, this task? We have something in mind, but we are always uh, happy about getting feedback, getting, yeah, Maybe somebody has experiences with this and can recommend some tools to use for, for performance testing. So talk to me later this week or today uh, if you have something in mind how to do this. And yeah, how to properly integrate this into an automated setup. Best would be to have it run on every uh, pull request we have to have a direct feedback, but I guess this is for the far future because it's really resource hungry and needs a lot of, of proper setup. So we want to have this first in a, in a very um, light version to run it only manually, but later more and more integrated into our automated testing and having it monitored constantly. Um, what, what the current architecture looks like is on the left side we have the yeah, the GitHub endpoint where the developer then sees a result or gets feedback from maybe a bot that just says, yeah, your pull request looks fine, but there is a 5% decrease in um, prop finds on WebDAV. Uh, this, uh, this thing connects to an API server. This is roughly implemented. There is already some, some running prototype that holds all the performance metrics that are gathered through a while while the performance test is run and also provides the endpoints for the GitHub hooks and, and the integration. So the, the API server is the one where the actual results are stored and where they are, can uh, get fetched from. And then we have on the right side uh, 
our workers, they connect to this, this API server and say, hey, is there a new task I need to execute? What do I need to check out? Which GitHub repo? How should I set up the server? How many clients do are there? I need to be connected. So this is the rough setup. This currently works. It's, it runs manually for now, but yeah. I plan to, to make this more, more uh, automated and scale it a bit bigger to have it in a, with a nicer setup. So if you have feedback, ideas, and just want to talk with me about this, just come over afterwards. I guess the time is too short for questions now. Because, yeah. But if you have a short one, feel free to do so. Thanks.